Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be looking at 20 of the best Cydia tweaks currently compatible with the untethered iOS 8.4 jailbreak. <laughs> Now, first of all, if you have yet to jailbreak, there will be an annotation and card on the screen to be taken to my untethered jailbreak tutorial. Also, I will have a link to my previous top 50 Cydia tweaks video where I highlight 50 of the best tweaks compatible with the 8.3 jailbreak, most of which will function on 8.4. However, some won't, but I definitely recommend checking it out because again, most will function on the latest firmware. And also down below in the more info, there will be a post on my site that contains every tweak listed there. In addition to that, there will be an embedded spreadsheet of every compatible iOS 8.4 tweak that's been tested thus far. It's maintained by the Reddit jailbreak community, so big props to them. And of course, just be sure to bookmark that post because the 8.4 compatible tweak section is updated on an hourly and or daily basis. Now before we get into the tweaks, there's an app that I wanted to mention called Moji. Someone I know is actually involved with it and it leads perfectly into the first tweak. Essentially it's an app that allows you to send animated emoji, kind of like the ones found on the Apple Watch. Now they can be sent to any phone that displays GIFs, not just iPhones, and the keyboard simply requires access to view popular emojis. No other data is collected and you can fully use and send them from the app without even having to add the keyboard. By swiping right on the finger wag guy, you can trick people into thinking you're typing with an animated ellipsis. And swiping right on the sunglass guy will finally give you that middle finger emoji. Now if you have any animated emoji suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments section and I'll pass them along to the devs themselves. Now like I said, that does lead perfectly into the first tweak. It's called Emoji 83 Plus, and essentially what it does is it enables the new emoji found in iOS 8.3, but beyond that, it also adds a completely new one that I think a lot of Star Trek fans will really enjoy. So as I go over here, you'll notice we have the Vulcan hand sign, and you can also change it based off of your emoji skin tone preference as well. So it's a really great, simple, and lightweight tweak. Now next up we have Activator, which is a really great tweak by itself, but the reason why it's in today's list is because some of the tweaks that I'm going to highlight later on in the video actually rely on Activator to function, and currently the latest version of Activator on the public repository is not compatible with either 8.3 or 8.4. So what you need to do is you have to add the custom beta repo for Activator. It's just rpetri.ch forward slash repo, and you can add it by going inside of sources, tapping edit, followed by add. And of course, down below in the more info on that post I mentioned previously, there will be the source listed there as well as on the screen now. Same thing goes for every tweak that requires a custom repository. So down below here inside of settings, followed by activator, essentially you can set various triggers that will do different things depending. Let's say we wanted to make it accessible from anywhere and then scrolling down, let's do a three finger pinch. So let's go ahead and find that here, three finger pinch, and we can have it do pretty much anything. So as you can see here, scrolling through, what I wanna do is I wanna be able to show the mini player, which is a tweak that I'm going to outline a little bit later in this video. Now it's a little hard to demonstrate with the iPhone docked, but essentially anywhere I am, I can do a three finger pinch and it will bring up the mini player. As you can see, you don't have to have tweaks that utilize it to be able to make full use of Activator. You can perform system functions as well. Next up, we have better 4x4 folders. So as you can see, by going inside of a folder here, I'm now able to display four icons in a row. So 4x4 folders works great, and it just looks really nice. It's also good for those of you who don't like to swipe between the pages of your folders. It is from a custom repository. It's just repo.rpdev.info. You can add it inside of Cydia. And along the same lines, you've probably already noticed it by now, we have better 5 icons doc, which is available from the aforementioned repository as well. Next, opening up Cydia, we have transparent doc. I currently don't have it installed, but when you install it, it just makes your doc transparent. Next, with bounce notify 8, you'll notice that applications that appear inside of the doc will bounce when they have notifications or pending updates. As you can see, Cydia is bouncing because I have a few updates pending. So inside of the settings portion for bounce notify 8, you can control 
control the bounce interval. So if you want it to bounce less often, you can make it bounce once every five seconds for the applications that have notifications inside of the dock. And you can also control the level of bounciness and you can even toggle it off if you get sick of the effect, which I'm going to do right now for the remainder of this video. Bars brings back the classic pre-iOS 7 signal strength indicators for iPhones. It also gives you something even further than that too. It gives you half bars to better determine the level of signal strength that your device has at any given point in time. Next, GBA for iOS is an emulator that allows you to play GBA or Game Boy Advanced games on your device. So as you can see here, I'm loading up Pokemon and it's just starting to play and we can go through it and play Pokemon Emerald just as if we had a Game Boy Advance. It is available via a custom repository and it's very easy to download ROMs, which are the game files for GBA for iOS. Simply navigate to this website, find the game you're interested in, and once you tap the final download link, just wait a bit because then it will redirect you to something like this inside of Safari and you can tap on open in GBA for iOS and you'll automatically have your new game there. There. So let's go ahead and tap on menu and we're going to return to the main menu here And as you can see we now have Pokemon fire red whereas before we only had Pokemon emerald So it's very easy to add ROMs to your emulators However, just note the only ROMs that you should download are the ones that you own the physical copy of the game for No grabber is a fantastic tweak for those of you who use games and try to access control center often So as you can see here we're loading up Hearthstone and we can access Control Center just by swiping up without having the little grabber that it gives you by default. So let's go ahead and do that now really quick. And swiping up, as you can see, I didn't have to have this little grabber and then grab a second time. It's just a one-time motion. So let's go ahead and do it again. There we have it. No grabber is very simple and I definitely recommend it. And along the same lines, we have CCD separator. So bringing up control center here, you'll notice we no longer have the separators. It's a very basic and lightweight tweak for kind of streamlining the interface of control center. If you're not into Apple Music or you like to use Pandora for whatever reason, Pandora skips will provide unlimited skips for Pandora. You don't have any custom settings or apps, just the regular Pandora app once you sign into your account, you will have an unlimited number of skips. Cornered is a great tweak that brings some iOS 9 inspired menu elements to iOS 8. So let's go ahead and open up an app here and navigate to the share menu. You'll notice we now have the rounded corners for the main share menu as well as for the cancel button. It's really great and it definitely looks slick in my opinion. Close all works for Safari. What you do basically is you go inside of Safari and then you can go to your tabs and then hold on the X. Once you have, you will receive this close all prompt. You can tap yes and it will close all of the tabs that you have inside of Safari. Blurry badges you've probably noticed by now it adds color to your app badges but not just any color, dynamic color. So based off of the main color of the application it will add a corresponding background badge color. What's more it also blurs them and adds a really nice frosted effect. It just looks better than the default badge system. For those of you who have Touch ID devices and you don't like having to enter your password when your device reboots, you should check out BioBoot because as you can see here, it says that it enables you to unlock your device after reboot without having to enter your passcode. There are some security concerns with BioBoot, however, so just take that into consideration. I don't have it installed for that very reason. Now the next three tweaks will be premium tweaks, meaning you have to pay for them inside of Cydia, just like premium apps from the App Store. So the first one's called Multi-Icon Mover. They're all well worth it in my opinion. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it quickly. So essentially when you enter the edit mode for your home screen, you can tap on icons that you want to move. So let's say we want to move these four icons to this page. Then all you have to do is just tap the home button again, and it will move all of the icons that you selected, and what's more, it also works for folders. So as you can see inside of this folder, let's go ahead and select the remote app as well as the Philips Hue app. So it does support multiple pages inside of folders. And then from there, you can navigate to the page that you want to move them to and then just press the home button again. And as you can see, it moves them in real time. It's very great for quickly organizing your device's home screens. And I definitely love this tweak. There is a free version, but it's not updated as frequently. And the paid version is the only one currently 
currently compatible with either 8.4 or 8.3. Next up, we have a very popular tweak for customizing pretty much all aspects of your devices, Springboard. You've definitely noticed it by now. It's called Springtimize 3. And as you can see, when I bring up Control Center here, we have a nice green background instead of the default glassy and frosted appearance. And you can do so much more beyond just things like customizing Control Center. You can also speed up or slow down animations. So as you can see, the launch animation there was incredibly fast. That's not because of the no slow animations tweak. That's because of Spring to my 3. So tapping into it, there are so many different options. As you can see, there's one for animations. You can control the home screen, control center, dock, folders, etc. And you can just tap into it and you have complete access to so many different settings and options for all of these different categories. It's really a great tweak that you can really use to personalize your device to the nth degree. Now, mini player is one that I was talking about with activators. So when you have it enabled, essentially what it does is it adds an iTunes like mini player to your device that's accessible anywhere inside of any application. And you can do things like pause or play your music as well as either skip to the next track or return to the previous track. So let's go ahead and go through here. You'll notice that it is indeed playing and we can turn it down as well. You have some pretty basic music controls and if you tap over kind of up, you get some additional information on the song. You can skip through tracks like so. Double tapping will add a dark theme to it, and you can even tap where the album art would normally be, followed by open application to open the music app. Now, Flux is a tweak that I talk about all of the time. Essentially, it modifies the color warmth of your display at night to provide a better viewing experience. So as you can see here by previewing it, this is something similar to what we'd get when the sun starts to go down. It reduces blue light exposure and again also eye strain so it's a really great tweak but currently for iOS 8.4 you can't install the one from the default repository so you have to add a custom repo which is why I'm mentioning it in today's video it's just getflux.com forward slash Cydia so also if in the future for whatever reason you're not able to use flux maybe it's not updated on the public repo then you can add that custom repository that's flux's official repo and from there you can find beta versions and they're released much faster than the public updates. And finally, let's end with another premium tweak called Bio Lockdown. It's great for devices with Touch ID because you can restrict access to any application and require that in order to use said app, you scan a fingerprint that's enrolled inside of Touch ID. And it's fully customizable inside of the settings app. You can tap to add new restrictions for basically anything. I definitely recommend it for those of you who value your privacy, especially where apps are concerned. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. I really do hope you liked it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the tweaks highlighted and be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section as to what your favorite tweaks are inside of Cydia. For those of you interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up, come back here, again rate this video up and leave a comment in the comment section. And I'm also going to do a brand new Apple Watch giveaway soon. I'm just putting together all of the final pieces for that. Again, let me know in the comments if you're interested in an all new Apple Watch giveaway. And for those of you who want to be updated more often, such as when I cover various things related to jailbreaking and iOS in general, be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.